A. You all well know that today how much the continuous integration is showing its importance to automate the code promotion to all environments level by level? For instance, a company is looking for on how to promote their Mule application code from environment to environment by not involving any manual procedures. Yes, this can be achievable by applying continuous integration through Jenkins. This is the high-level architecture of implementing continuous integration. It comprises of various tools. AnyPoint Studio is a development editor to develop Mule project code. Subversion stores the Mule project code. Frog Artifactory archives the golden copy of each promoting code. Active Directory maintains all the users and groups information who has access to promote the code. Jenkins promotes the code from environment to environment. Build Machine Server Mule Design Environment And coming to here you can see the Active Directory server where it maintains different groups and users added to promote the code depending on their roles. Now we'll go back and see how to implement continuous integration and continuous deployment for promoting a Mule demo project onto three environments through Jenkins. First two Dev and QA are on-premise environments and third one Prod is the Cloud Hub environment. As a first step, the user from developer group will log in into Jenkins portal, select Mule demo project underscore dev, click on configure option on left side, Go to Source Code Management and select Subversion and configure all the properties as per configuration. Then click on Apply and then Save. The code will be retrieved from SVN repository. Go back to Jenkins home page and click on Mule Sit. It will traverse the Build Pipeline page. Click on Run button. Now you can observe the Mule Demo Project underscore Dev Pipelines turns into yellow color code. Click on Trigger button bottom on right corner side. In the console output you can see job status regarding the project that is integrated with Amunit test cases. While building project, job will perform execution of Amunit test cases. Here it's showing test results, no errors, so deploying to environment, successful build is stored under JFrog Artifactory. You can see the mail notifications received by the respective users in their mailbox. Hit the Mule Dev Project URL to see the successful output message Welcome to Mule Continuous Integration. Here you can see all the artifacts storing under JFrag Artifactory after successful promotion to on-premise dev environment. The Mule Demo Project underscore dev pipeline color turns into green as the deployment is successful. Next the code has to promote onto on-premise QA environment, log in with QA user and click on Mule CI, it will traverse to build pipeline page. Click on trigger button bottom in Mule Demo Project underscore QA. In the console output you can see job status, regarding the project that is integrated with Amunit test cases. While building project, job will perform execution of Amunit test cases. Here it's showing test results, no errors, so deploying to environment, successful build is stored under JFrog Artifactory. You can see the mail notifications received by the respective users in their mailbox. Hit the Mule QA project URL to see the successful output message Welcome to Mule Continuous Integration. Here you can see all the artifacts storing under JFrog Artifactory after successful promotion to on-premise QA environment. The Mule Demo Project underscore QA pipeline color turns into green as the deployment is successful. And finally the code has to promote the Prod Cloud Hub environment. Log in with Prod user and click on Mule Sit. It will traverse the Build Pipeline page. Click on Trigger button bottom in Mule Demo Project underscore Prod. In the console output you can see job status. Regarding the project it is integrated with Amunit test cases. While building project, job will perform execution of Amunit test cases. Here it's showing test results. No errors, so deploying to environment, successful build is stored under JFrog Artifactory. You can see the mail notifications received by the respective users in their mailbox. Now log in into the anypoint.mulesoft.com and select the Mule Demo Project. We can observe the updation of file at right hand side of the page. Hit the Mule Prod Project URL 
to see the successful output message Welcome to Mule Continuous Integration. Here you can see all the artifacts storing under JFrag Artifactory after successful promotion to Prod Cloud Hub and Reviorment. The Mule Demo Project underscore Prod Pipeline color turns into green as the deployment is successful. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions, please reach us devops at eaidsb.com.